students, welcome to another science lessons. I'm your teacher, Ria, and our topic for this week is all about light. But before that, let me test your understanding from our previous lesson. I have here an illustration in which the different types of the waves are shown. All you have to do is to identify each type of the wave and the motion of each wave. Very good! That is a longitudinal wave. Longitudinal waves occur with the particles by ray back and forth parallel to the motion of the wave. Next one. That's right! It's shown a sample of a wave which is the transverse wave. Transverse waves occur when the particles vibrate from side to side perpendicular to the direction of the wave's motion. Last we have... Very good! Surface wave. It forms a circular pattern and usually occurs in the surface of a liquid state matter. From that, obviously, you've learned enough from our previous lesson. So let's move on to the next one. Before we start, let me present to you our learning competencies and objectives. Learning competency explain color and intensity of light in terms of its wave characteristics. Learning objectives explain what is light, describe the characteristics of light, appreciate the importance of light. Let's start! I want you to give your idea on the set of pictures. Very good! It shows one thing in common. It's all about light, the importance and uses of light. Light is very important. Without light, the plants can be able to produce foods for us through photosynthesis. Light comes from two different sources, natural and artificial light. Natural source include the sun. The sun does not give us heat but also light. Other sources include bulb, lamp, and candles are considered as artificial sources of light. In this activity, I want you to look around. Please different sources of light found within and outside your home. Categorize it as natural and artificial light. Long shade, bulb, flashlight are on the column of artificial light. Next, you observe sun, star, and moon under the column of natural light. But one big question is, what is light? Light as a wave is both transverse and electromagnetic. 
unlike sound, light like all electromagnetic waves can travel in vacuum. It travels in straight line as evidenced by shadows and eclipses. Light as transverse wave vibrates perpendicular to the direction of propagation. Let's take a look at the differences of characteristics of light. Light intensity is the power of light. It is the amount of light produced by a light source. It is often interchanged with brightness, but it is objectively measurable as the rate at which energy is delivered to a surface. Brightness. It is the subjective quality of light. It depends on how someone is viewing light. However, in the quantitative aspect, we can use luminous intensity. Luminous intensity is the amount of light that the objects produce. It is measured in terms of a candela. The brightness of light depends on how far you are from the source. Observe the following picture in which the scenario you see a brighter light. Correct! It is in picture A. The closer you are to the source of light, the brighter is the light that you will see. But always remember, the intensity of light depends upon the amount of light that passes a certain area or space. Color is also one of the important signs of light. In electromagnetic waves, visible light is the only electromagnetic wave that can be seen with human eye. The component colors of visible light, also known as white light, can be seen in visible spectrum. The color of the light depends on the frequency or wavelength of the radiation that reaches the eye. The visible light or white light strikes into a prism, it is split into visible light colors in the electromagnetic spectrum. This phenomenon in which a prism separates white light into component colors called dispersion. The seven colors include red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, which are also known as rojivib or the colors of the rainbow. Among the seven colors, violet has the highest frequency but the shortest wavelength, while red has the lowest frequency but the longest wavelength. It is obvious here that the frequency of light is indirectly related to the wavelength. As the frequency increases, the wavelength decreases. The color of the object we see depends on the light reflected or transmitted that reaches our eyes. For example, a green leaf appears green because when light from the sun shines upon it, the leaf absorbs all the frequency of the visible light spectrum except for the green. Thus, a green leaf will be seen. Let me test your understanding by doing this activity. To test your understanding about our topic, 
Piece 1. Choose the best answer. It composed of multiple choice, fill in the blank, or two or four. Question number 1. Which among the component colors of white light has the longest wavelength? A. Red, B. Violet, C. Green, D. Orange. Correct. B. Violet. Question number 2. When you look at an object and it appears red, why is that the case? A. It absorbs red light. B. It reflects red light and absorbs all the other colors of visible light. C. It reflects all the colors of visible light. D. It reflects all the colors of visible light except the red light. Perfect! B. It reflects red light and absorbs all of the other colors of visible light. Question 3. Fill in the blank. The color you see is the color that is blank. Correct! The answer is reflected. Question number 4. What is the major source of light on Earth? A. Moon B. Sun C. Rainbow D. Fire The correct answer is B. Sun Last question. Question number 5. True or false? Does this object give of light? The correct answer is true. Very good! You did a great job! For your assignment, make an advanced reading about this transfer. I hope you have learned in our topic. Till next time!